On Tuesday, nurses at Sutter Coast Hospital will join others across the network's Northern California hospitals to protest what they say is Sutter Health's refusal to address their concerns about staffing, workplace violence, and pandemic readiness. According to the California Nurses Association and National Nurses United, registered nurses at 15 Sutter Health hospitals across Northern California will hold informational pickets on Tuesday, March 15th, to protest Sutter's refusal to address RN's proposals about staffing, workplace violence, and pandemic readiness. Amber Faust is an RN who's worked at Sutter Coast Hospital's ICU for five years. Oh, we are holding this informational picket fighting for patient safety, and we also want an equal voice in the decisions made in providing patient care and patient safety and staff safety so we can ensure we're being heard on the issues and making sure we have the resources and the means to provide safe and quality care at our local hospital. So it sounds to me that you feel like you're not being heard, and why is it that that seems to be taking place? Well, um, you know, sometimes, you know, upper management or the administration, um, you know, with the pandemic, things have changed, and a lot of stressors and a lot of fluid environment and sometimes you know we're not being heard saying hey we need something or we feel like we need more staff or more resources and sometimes you know we're not being heard i know that you work at sutter coast icu and you've been there for five years i mean you guys were slammed over there you were under siege when we were having the horrendous Delta surge that hit down North County. I mean, doesn't management understand what you all are doing and the the risk that you're putting in in order to try to keep people healthy in our community? Providing the care during that Delta surge, you know, that took a huge toll on a lot of our health care members from nurses to CNAs to physicians. Um, it took a big hit on us seeing our community suffer and working in the ICU I saw many of our community members you know pass away and it wasn't just you know another patient that was like a neighbor a friend um, a church member it hit us very very hard and there was days that many of us would you know have to sit in our car and I would cry after work feeling like I didn't do my best that day. I was just trying to make it through. One of the issues on the nurse's agenda is something called presumptive eligibility. Presumptive eligibility means if we are exposed to COVID or any other kind of illness, it is presumed that we got it at work. Um, Firefighters and police officers actually have presumptive eligibility. So if they come back positive for COVID, it is assumed that they got it on the job and they are either, you know, paid time off or resources to help with that. With healthcare, you know, they're trying to take away that presumptive eligibility saying that, you know, you didn't get it here. And so we're not protected. Another major issue is workplace violence. Workplace violence in healthcare is actually a big, big concern. Um, you know, we're under stressful times. We don't see people at their best. Um, you come to the hospital and you're not feeling well. And, you know, there's a multi-factors, you know, of stress. You feel like you're not getting your care delayed or this or that. Or, you know, a lot of people are under the influence of substances. And, you know, nurses are getting assaulted. Um, We've been hit, kicked, bit, you know, cursed at. Um, We want a voice in saying, you know, we need more protections to protect us on how to prevent getting hurt from, you know, people that are violent or have a violence risk. Have these kinds of attacks taken place at Sutter Coast? 
Um, yes. There's been instances where nurses have been hurt on the job. What has been local management's response to this? Um, there is a workplace violence committee. Um, you know, we've engaged with law enforcement as well to help, you know, mitigate instances where we're put in a compromising position. It is kind of a fluid, you know, process and trying to get the resources and get the protections we need and also protect the patient. Sometimes people just don't know what they're doing, but we need to protect them and ourselves as well. Tuesday's picket is been to provide information to the public, not to stop people from entering Sutter Coast in order to get treatment. We are just hoping to get some information out to the community and share our cause to give safe patient care. You guys are our community. We want to be out there for you guys. And we don't want to discourage anybody from getting any care. Um, us out there picketing for an hour and a half should not interrupt any kind of patient care. What can people in the community who support the nurses at our local hospital, what, 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 what can they do to be of assistance in your cause? Um, we welcome all community to show up to our picket tomorrow if they would like to. Um, just having the community support will be a good, you know, moral feeling that we have support and help show Sutter that our community is invested in getting good quality nursing care at our only local hospital. The nurse's informational picket will be taking place at Sutter Coast Hospital on Tuesday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Sutter Coast Hospital is located at 800 East Washington Street in Crescent City. For KFUG Community News, I'm Mike Thornton.